Today, we are going to take a look at the clutch, our first clutch, our first ball python clutch of 2022. They've all shed out, they've all got food in their bellies, so we're gonna give them a good look. And <clears throat> if for some reason it seems like my brain is not participating in this video as much as my body and face, it's because it's not. I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm training right now for the Spartan race. My friend signed me up for it and said we should do it. So we're doing a Spartan race about, well, a week from when you're watching this, basically. And maybe I'll capture some footage of it. I've never, never done one before, but I ate these things last night just to test them out. And apparently they have caffeine, so I got like three hours sleep. And so I'm not, uh, I'm not functioning properly, but we're gonna check out those snakes. But right before we do that, I've got to ship this girl who absolutely loves my face out to my buddy Joel, finally. The thing I didn't tell Joel is that we actually lost this snake in the snake room the other day, and I was like, dude, we got to get this thing over to him before it's gone. I had it pretty good and tame for a minute, but I think that little extracurricular uh, trip around the snake room that evening, just, she's like, got a little taste of true freedom, which I promise is not all it's cracked up to be, at least not for a snake. You're good, you're good. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, biscuit. Whoa, 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 take it, take it easy, come on. It's not that big a deal. Come on now. Wow, 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 just relax, huh? Relax, would you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Here, talk to them about it. There we go. There's the little tongue flicks. Oh, no, shh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we're back, and we're gonna do it to it. Now we're gonna start at the beginning. We're gonna start with the animals with the least amount of genes in them and work up to the animal with the most amount of genes. And this, if you weren't watching the other videos, was a pairing between a hypo pinstripe and a hypo GHI spider or a humblebee or honeybee. Honeybee? GHI honeybee. Everything's gonna be hypo. This clutch, uh, the snakes are a little on the smaller side. I mean, they're not like runts per se, but they're, they're certainly a smaller than um, your average ball python hatchling. Sometimes you get some on the larger side, sometimes on the smaller side, but what it's prompted me to do is add some steps to my prerequisites before shipping out snakes. What I just generally do is say at least five meals and they're good to go. And that's gonna stay. And I'm also gonna add at least a second shed. So obviously the first shed, their baby skin, egg skin, get that off. And then a second shed beyond that before they go, just because I feel like a, a good shed is a good sign of health. Um, so if they're progressing and they're growing nicely, so they have a second shed, maybe even a third shed. Now leave a comment down below, what would you do? Would you do second shed or third shed? But the third part is gonna be that they hit 100 grams. Because some are gonna hit that faster, you know, some could potentially hit 100 grams without having five meals if they're hatching out on the really, really big side. And some could have five meals and not hit 100 grams. So, so basically, whatever happens last, as long as all three of those things have happened, they've hit 100 grams, they've had five meals, they've had their second shed, then they'll be okay to go to their homes. And I think that that's a good standard to set. It's, uh, again, this, this clutch just prompted me to want to do something like that. So this first snake we're looking at here, and I believe it's a boy. Yep, that's definitely a boy. See those little peens popping out there. So this is a hypo. Do I need to say hypo every time? They're all hypo. 
And this one is a hypo. So I guess I have to say hypo because I don't believe he had any of the other genes mixed. Now, definitely not the spider. Definitely not the pinstripe and definitely not the GHI. So this dude is a straight up hypo. And he's a beauty. Hypo is one of those genes, man. It's just, it's it looks so crazy in person. I've never actually held a straight hypo baby. Um, this is one of those things, it's not as extreme or as as brightening, I would say. It's not in the same way as Desert Ghost, but it is the same as Desert Ghost in the fact that they the babies do continue to look very good and potentially even get better into adulthood. Something that hypo, I think, does. Get a good look at those sides. Yeah, it's a good looking snake right there. And this next one here is a hypo GHI. And I'm thinking this is probably my favorite in the clutch. I really wish he was a girl, but he's a boy. That's a boy. I mean, if it was a girl, 100% I'd be keeping this snake just because I think it's the most beautiful snake in the entire clutch for my personal taste. So you can see the difference in color right away. The GHI is a bit more purpley looking and whereas the straight up hypo has a lot more orange going on, uh, the GHI also has this lighter color along the dorsal whereas the dorsal color on the back of the regular hypo is the same as it is on the sides. Um, and then there's also, of course, the way that the alien heads, per se, you know, I call, I, call, I always call them alien heads, whether they're keyholes or whatever, all these little formations on the side of the snake, I always refer to as an alien head, no matter what they look like, um, no matter how they change. But you can see the alien heads on the GHI are fading going on inside. There's not definitive keyholes or eyes. Sorry, this other snake's running away on me. <laughs> This other one's got a, got spicy, it's got spunk. Look at him go. Later, later, I'm gone, I'm out. Audi 5000, it's gonna be fun getting B-roll that. And then also if you look at the head stamp on the GHI, it's just a lot more um, blushed out and grayed out. And you got this, you got a lot of grays that come through uh, with the GHI involved. I just think it's, I think it's gorgeous. Next in line is another male. This one is a honeybee. And you can see, so Honeybee is a, a hypo spider. I don't know if you noticed that when she was, or he was crawling up there, but there's definitely, um, there's noticeable wobble in this baby. Now that's something that can get better into adulthood. Some spiders start out without any wobble whatsoever and then develop it in adulthood. It can go both ways. We'll just kind of keep an eye on it. Again, I, I, with the wobble, I've never seen a real effect in ability to thrive with a spider, but I know it was a big controversial gene for a bit. It probably is still with a lot of people, but a gorgeous little curious snake just trying to check things out. A little different, a little special. Some people are probably gonna hate it. One more boy, <laughs> and that's this dude right here. And this is, I believe, you know, I learned something with this clutch is that sometimes hypo, uh, pinstripe and spider, not the easiest thing to tell apart necessarily when you start working in other genes for some reason. At least, at least not with this, with GHI. Um, kind of threw me off a little bit, I think. But I believe this to be a GHI pinstripe hypo. There, I said hypo again. And he's a good looking dude. So it's like dad, but add GHI. And again, with the GHI, you can see they got that, that lighter color, that goldish color that runs down the top of the snake. It just has a lot of gray inside of the alien heads and just uh, just different. Comment down below if you think this is a, a pinstripe because I'm fairly certain this is GHI pinstripe hypo. But future Brian here. So on further inspection of this boy, I feel like maybe he's just a variant of GHI honeybee when compared to his sisters. But I'm still on the fence, so I'd really love to get your guys' comments down below. I could just send pictures to Jesse, and he could probably confirm immediately. But I'd really like to get your guys' opinion on it before I reach out to him and get those reinforcements. So I'd appreciate it. I'd love to call in some reinforcements. All right, now these next two are both girls, and they're both copies of Mom. So GHI Spider Hypo. So GHI Humblebees. GHI Honeybees. Get it straight, Cusco. GHI honeybees. This one looks a little different. They, they, there's a little bit of variation there. You can see the the back stripe. Oh, you can't see anything. You can see the dorsal on this one is not as 
bright and pronounced as the dorsal on this one in comparison. That's just what I'm noticing with my eyes right now, but I believe them to both be, again, copies of mom, GHI honeybees, GHI hypo spiders, like little lollipops. Yep. <clears throat> No, I didn't really lick it, but I should. And this is our last one here. And this is the creme de la creme. As far as genetics goes, this one has got everything going on. I'm fairly certain. It's, it's definitely a spinner. So it's definitely spider pinstripe hypo. And then I believe GHI as well, based on the, the graying that's coming in the sides and that, that brighter dorsal in comparison to the sides as we saw in all the other GHI. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, thinking, stinking, and that's it right there. Um, that's that's the clutch for us. Uh, I'm gonna go shut down for a while because my brain could barely process words for this video. But but I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the beautiful snakes. I hope you're having a good time. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next one. Aloha.